Okay, go. Whoa! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kidding! Hey, what? Well, what do you want me to say? Properly. More enthusiasm, bro. Yeah, so creating portals in After Effects is actually not that hard at all. Uh, let's take a look here. So first of all, we have the uh, the ring, like this, which is basically just a uh, standard orange solid that I masked out. You can see that there's two masks here. Uh, without the second one, it just looks like this, like an oval shape. And then with the subtract mask, I get this nice ring. And of course, we have a turbulent displace effect to give it the uh, wobbly look. Because, you know, portals are not static, they wobble around the edges like this. And then the second layer is actually just a fractal noise layer, like this. Of course, masked out again to fit the shape of the portal. So when you put it together, you have something like this. And if you want an image in the portal, you just replace this fractal noise layer with, like, uh, your video or image, uh, whatever you want. Go. What's in the package? <laughs> no! <laughs> What? Oh what do you want me to say? <laughs> what? Oh, finally? Jesus Christ, it's been a long time for that. And for the scene where Kenneth gets kicked in the face, we actually have Wildem's foot here shot across the green screen. Uh, which we then keyed out. So it looks like this. You notice that there's some clipping on the top here, not very well framed, so you know his foot's kind of cut off, but it's okay. It's only just for a few frames, and the viewer probably won't notice anyway. So you know, in the actual scene, it looks like this. Uh, you see, this is one portal here, and then boom, and that's where the uh, foot gets cut off, but a bit probably. Most people won't even realize that. What is this again? It's a, it's a portal gun! It doesn't look like a portal gun. Really I, really said, I said port, port, <laughs> portal. 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 Okay, as for uh, putting portals on walls and uh, floors, well, you just gotta kind of estimate how it would look like if it was really there. Like, for example, here, uh, I tried to line up the bounding boxes of the portal with the uh, floor, like the direction of the floor. So, as you can see, on the, this side, the floor kind of looks like it's you know in this diagonal direction. So I kind of try to match the uh, composition here in that direction as well. And uh, this thing is basically in 3D space. I can move it around like this, like this. And basically, it's just rotated into place. Like, see. And as for how they actually appear, it's actually not that hard at all because all I need to do is just scale it up from like 0% all the way up to whatever, how big you want it to be. And always try to keep something in the real world as the reference. So for example, here in this shot, uh, the, this picture frame here is my reference, so around halfway is where the top of the portal is and around halfway where the portal is, like here, is just under the picture frame. So that's how big my portal is relative to something in the real scene, like that. So if you change angles, you know, it'll be easier for you to estimate how big you need to scale the layer up or down. And then for the actual shooting of a portal gun, it's just a nice easy muzzle flash with a round shape solid like this to give that projectile look. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I guess that's pretty easy. I'm probably gonna do a tutorial on these portals because they look pretty cool. But yeah, that's about it. Two, one, go. Wait a minute. Didn't we open two portals? <laughs>